Where's your kid? Oh, there it is. Hello. Man, you're soft. Oh, there's baby. You're both so soft. Hi. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Pretty nippy out. Woo. Nice. Way better than being hot. Wow. Okay, well, the frame is welded. Uh, the engine's out. I've got to figure out what we're doing with steering. I have a couple of ideas. The steering rack is higher than it's going to be. It's going to have to go down kind of inside of the ladder frame to be underneath the engine. We can keep our steering arms facing backwards like they are now, the way they were originally. But that means that the steering rack is going to have to be right underneath the engine and we're gonna have to do some weird like frame modification like cutting holes to stick the tie rods out of which is it's doable it's super doable we can flip the steering arms around the other way and stick the ugh, stick the steering rack out front and then it's i mean we still have to do the same thing we still got to cut holes in the frame i guess we just kind of plow through let's see uh Hey, me. One of those, maybe one of these. Let's see what this looks like on the side of that frame. Are y'all eating my tools? Jesus, cat, okay. <laughs> Dude, hey. <laughs> Where's, oh, there she is. Yeah. That little dude's super explory. Boink. Yep, got that. I don't really know if this is the best way to do this. Well, like using a hole saw. Um, I think that this is the most, the most efficient way that I have in my arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> this is my kind of weather. My kind of weather too, man. You always put more jackets on, you know? Yeah, but once you're hot. Man. It's hard to get more naked. <laughs> hey, did you see our our baby tiny little steering rack? I did. It was cute. Dude. I going to uh, do something. I may have underdone it. Mark my words, okay? The first thing to break, it's going to be this or the drive shaft. Guarantee it. Nothing breaks before those break. I'm going to go with the other, the other card on this one. Okay. What do you think is the first thing that's going to break? I think the first thing that's going to break is it's going to be the starter. You think so? I think it's going to be the, the starter. starter. Yeah. Oh, I would be so awful, dude. Yeah, I think it's going to be the starter. All right, bet. All right. Oh, no. Dude, I swear I just heard another kitten. You did. Because I heard it. You heard it, too? We heard it, too. I told you I thought I saw one earlier, and it ran under the truck. That's not necessary, but it would be kind of cool to strip the paint off of that and, uh, I don't know, see what the data tag says. <laughs> Oh, of course they spin immediately because they're pop rivets. <laughs> Got them. Nice. Let's grab me a little awl and go straight down the center. Ugh. Sometimes you punch the core out, but usually that's not the case. You can go down the center and expand that core just a little bit and re-stick the rivet. And then drill again. And then drill it again, yeah, once it's once it's fit back up in there. It's just a serial number. Well, that's the data tag. Well, I mean... <laughs> but it's just Yeah, I just thought it was going to be it. like printed, you know, Yamaha motor or something, whatever, blah, blah, blah. 1988. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, something. Right. Oh, well, hey. Maybe it is. It's spray painted, so maybe there is something under there. Eighth inch in there. Should I just go ahead and pilot these? Is it center? <laughs> what is, uh, what oh, is center? Mean, oh, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, neither is anything else, so perfect. Um, yeah, no, it's not centered, so it lines up. That's gonna be tricky. Tell you what, we'll space these out so that they're kind of like right in the middle of the engine mount. Cause that'll leave us, if we have to cut all, like cut all this out in here, that'll leave us a little bit of space to then go and kind of bolster up our engine mounts again. Wow, that's uh, an inch and five eighths. Okay, well, same as the other side. Whoops, nailed it. I mean, this whole thing is nothing if not a can of worms, right? Just because I like my drill bit. Hey, we did kind of miss it. I guess let's just go ahead and tap through this side. 
we'll wait to like pilot or do anything on the other side. Here's the thing, man. It's either gonna work. Sorry, me in post. Do you like what I've done with this audio? You don't have to hear all this. It's been on the charger for three about whole minutes. About three minutes. Four minutes. Ah. This is not even said screw you, dude. Thought. Oh, let me go get another one from inside. Oi. <whistles> okay. We've got. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring two of the little ones. I think that'll be everything that I need. <laughs> the white balance is so off in here. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Yeah, you see how uh, I'll use the WD-40 can as a pointer. The whole saw came all the way into this old engine plate. So I think it gave me some pretty good little starting points for just sticking a Sawzall in there and meh, meh, knocking that out. <laughs> we gotta go to charge batteries. Man, dude, they're all, like, they're all dead. Everything is dead. Dude, that's all right. That's, that sounds like it's huge. We should go buy two more drill batteries. Go <laughs> Wife would love me if I showed up with more <laughs> drill batteries. Right now, let's right go get now. more drill batteries. Because she doesn't think I have enough Milwaukee stuff already. All right, I'll tell you what. Don't bring back home Milwaukee batteries. Duh, that'll just get you busted. Yeah. Just get a Dewalt drill and battery. Yeah, let and me... Get two of them. Yeah, let me yeah. screw up my whole tool ecosystem. Ah. I'm faster. Uh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want down with mom? Where's mom? Hey, don't do that to, oh no. It's the next day, but everything looks the same. It's cold, there's cats. Overcast, cloudy, 100%. There's cats. We got the holes drilled yesterday in the frame, uh, killed every battery that I had because all of them were pretty much dead and I didn't realize it until it was way too late. Uh, but we got those holes drilled. So we've located where the steering rack is gonna go. Today, we'll finish cutting that out and we'll make a little channel that we can fit the steering rack into. Um, we'll make up some mounts to actually mount the steering rack to the frame. Once that's in there, I'm gonna need to extend both of my tie rods because I know that they're both about an inch too short i'm not really sure we'll measure that but they're 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 close but they do need to be extended so we'll chop those in half space them out a little bit and weld them back up yeah at that point we'll have steering done from the rack out to the wheels then we need to figure out how we're actually going to tie the steering rack back into the steering wheel we need to snake that underneath the engine and up and out and over and under and turny bits we'll see Safety third. Sweet. <laughs> That's it. Kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know if this is going to work, man. I really hope it does. Close to the same. Let's just go from our engine mounts. We'll figure out what center is. Right about there is pretty close. So we saw what you just did there to figure out center mm -hmm. yeah. for let's say hypothetically a distance that you didn't necessarily know. Yeah. You just measured the same distance from either edge. That's right. Made your mark. And then obviously you eyeball the center of, uh, in between the two marks. That's right. Yeah, yeah. just kind of split those in half. Um, it's a little bit further to this side than this side because, uh, well, I know that this is technically a little further away from center than this is not by much like maybe an eighth of an inch quick little neat trick bro 
Well, there we pretty much are. What do you think? As little as possible. We're going to catch them slipping one day. Uh-huh. Hey, I want to say, if you're enjoying what you see, like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let us know what we're doing wrong. Let us know what we're doing right. Uh, we like hearing from you guys. Uh, comments have been picking up recently. All the traffic to the channel has been picking up recently, and it's really, really been a blast to see it, man. It makes me so excited to just keep doing this. Yeah, what I'm thinking is that full droop, uh, we might have an issue where this runs into this little cross member. Um, it'll take a little bit of strength out of this thing, but we could put a bend in here. So instead of going straight across, it kind of comes up and then goes down or comes up and then goes down and in. Why did Honda make these so heavy? Where'd I go? I went from the front on the other side. Why did I do? Th oh yeah, because the floorboard's going to be in the way otherwise. Okay. That's pretty, dude. Hey, this is the first time though. Check this out. If you're looking at this wheel, I can turn this one and turn both of them. I was gonna just kind of clamp this thing in place and see if we could get a little, get a little action out of her, but doesn't look like that's gonna comply. So we're just gonna go ahead and mount it. Cool. Just a little bit. Sure. Yeah, that's real sharp. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna melt some stuff on this little dinky little steering rack. I don't know. There looks about good, and so far guessing's gotten us pretty far. Dude, this is dumb. All right. <laughs> Doesn't smell healthy to breathe that. Super sketch. Five shore, dude. We've got a little bit, way too much Ackerman. It works, dude. That's what matters. It does work. When we rip, will it turn? Yes. Will it turn again? We'll find out. <laughs> Is it the wrong length? Oh, yeah. Bro, she'll turn, dude. Is that how you're gonna steer it with your feet? Yeah. Show us again. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I can beat me. Not too terribly busy. What you got? That's a your cat. No. <laughs> what is that from? Around. There's one right there too. Oh. They showed up and they won't leave. That's why. They need the food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got a lot of off-camera work to do to prep for the rear axle going in. I did figure out where I want it to go. We got it located. It was about a foot too far forward and uh, about six inches too low. So it's higher now. It sticks further back. It's much more proportional to the rest of the build. Um, still going to have a pretty short wheelbase, so that's going to kind of amplify our turning radius. Yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, coming up, we've got shocks, finish the steering, mount the engine, design and build a drive shaft, mount the rear end. The rear end's not gonna be nearly as complicated as the front was, um, cause we're going like 80s Honda, old school hardtail kind of stuff. Since this is kind of an 80s Yamaha, I don't know, I thought it'd be kind of a cool like tribute to that era with the hardtail ATCs and uh, four tracks and stuff that didn't have shocks. Um, so that'll be pretty easy and I already know where it's going to go. It's just, uh, mechanically making it stay there is, uh, is the only thing really left to do.